everybody, I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are Our Fair Place, Place Gang. Yeah! <laughs> and we're yeah. back on BGG. Here we go! Everybody, we are yes. back again for yes. another month on BGG. And to the person that said, "Rest in peace, yo, Mike," uh, with your earphones, yes, I'm a little extra, so yes, so uh, you know, I, that's how it goes. Because we had some good times, yeah. Because I was, they said I was a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait till you meet us in person. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't scare people. Oh, away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, Don't scare them away. You know. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm so sorry. Well, you know, we always like to kick off our show with a birthday recognition. Yes. So happy birthday to everyone who's born during the month of March. Happy birthday. And during this month, we are celebrating two zodiac signs. We are what? Yes. So you have Pisces, okay. which started in February okay. on the 19th yes. and it ends on March 20th. Yes. And Aries, which starts on March 20th first and goes to April 19th. Okay. So happy okay. birthday, Pisces and Aries. Yes. And you know, happy my, birthday. My mother, rest, God rest her soul, yes. um, she was an Aries. Okay. Born on March 23rd. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now, so what, what's up with the Aries? What was up with your mother? Well, you know, she was just a really sweet person. I okay. like Aries. Oh, you do? Yeah, they're okay. thoughtful people. Oh, they okay. care. At least she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yes. if you're an Aries, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I like Aries. She likes you. I like you. Yes, it. yes. Um, yeah, but you know, we also want to talk about some of the worldwide observances. Yes, we do. Like we always do. Yes, Every yes. month. I'm excited because I want to see what you got, okay. you got going. Yeah, All right, see. so on March 20th. Okay. We'll be celebrating the International Day of Happiness. Oh, we got to celebrate some happiness because there's so much going on in the world this, this time, family. There's so much craziness and so much unhappiness. Yes. We need some happiness celebrating. Well, yes. The International Day of Happiness yes. is a way to recognize the importance of happiness yes. in the lives of people around the world. Yes. The, Uni- the UN recognizes that happiness is a fundamental Mm. Human goal. It is. It is. I'm gonna have to say it is. Yes. You gotta be, have some happy. Well, you know, we talk about that in yes. our American Constitution, the pursuit of happiness. You know, yes. we want to pursue happiness. Yes. And you know, you are, that's good for self care because mm-hmm. you know now a lot of people talk about self care and just smiling, being happy. Yeah. You know, just smiling at somebody, hugging yeah. somebody. You know, if you if you don't want to hug, just smile yes. at them, shake their hand or something. But you know, just being happy and passing yeah. that on. Happy. Yes, you gotta pass that on. Yeah. Yes. All right, so on March 21st uh, is World Poetry Day. Oh, okay. Now, World Poetry Day celebrates one of humanity's most treasured forms of cultural and linguistic expression and identity. Yes. Practiced throughout history, in every culture, on every continent, Poetry speaks to our common humanity mm-hmm. yes. and our shared values, yes. transforming the simplest poems into a powerful catalyst for dialogue and peace. Yes, and we know personally mm-hmm. uh, a very, you know, very, very, I mean, a great poet, yes. and that's Scott Woods from out yes. of Columbus, Ohio, who's yes. an Emmy winning poet and writer. Yes. So he, he does this <laughs> thing, he does the spoken word and all that real good, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Poetry Day. Yes. Now, on March 21st again, yes. same day, okay. we'll also be celebrating the International Day of Forest. Okay, we need that. We do. We need to we, celebrate we need, that. We need, we need the forest, yeah. And this day celebrates and raises awareness of the importance of all types of forest. Oh, yes. okay. okay. On each International Day of Forest, countries are encouraged to take local, national, and international efforts okay. to organize activities yes. involving forest and trees. Yes. The, they want you to plant some trees. Yes, they do. You know, go out and take some time in the forest yes. and appreciate what it brings appreciate to, it. to the world. So that's that's a wonderful thing. To I do. like that. I like that. Go take a hike. Go take a hike. <laughs> go take a hike. All right, so on March 22nd mm-hmm. is World Water Day. Okay. Now, the theme for World Water Day this year, for 2024, okay. All right. is Water for Peace. Yes. Yes, because we need some peace. We need <laughs> and some we peace. need water. We need water. We and, definitely need and, water. And so it says, when we cooperate on water, mm-hmm. we create a positive ripple effect. Yes. Which fosters harmony, generates prosperity, and builds resilience 
to share challenges. Yes, because you know, even in our board games, water is always important. Very important. It is, it's always kind of like that, that resource, resource that yes. you need to yes. do almost everything. Yes. You know, I need to give me some water. You know, you gotta get some water, yes. <laughs> yeah, and on World Water Day, uh, we all need to unite around water mm -hmm. and the use of water for peace, laying the foundations for a more stable and prosperous tomorrow. Yes, that's cool. That I tell you, cool. these these days just really touch me. They I, touch I, I, me too. They touch me because I mean these are really important things yeah. that we as human beings yes. need to you know remember and celebrate and be part of. Yes, I love that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So. The last on my list is March 23rd, and we will celebrate World Meteorological Day. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to try that word I now, fam. I don't want to try that word. It's Weatherman Day. Uh, Weather People Day. <laughs> it's Weather People Day. Yes, that's but what it is. On this day, it's uh, actually the theme for this day, for this year, is at the forefront of climate action. Yes. Got to work with our climate. At yes, the, yes. At the forefront climate. of We got to work with our climate. Action. Yes, we got to work with our climate. And yes. on this day, it showcases the essential contributions of the National Meteorological and Hydrological Services to the safety and well-being of society. And it is celebrated with activities around the world. That's really cool. That is really cool. Ooh, that's, yeah. a, that's a mouthful. That's a mouthful because <laughs> I'm not going to mess with that word because I'll mess up that uh, word very badly. Very badly. All right. So next we're going to get into our top five games of the month for March. Here we go. Now you guys know every month. We try to tie in the games on our top five list with the world observances. Yes. And let's see how well we did this month. <laughs> oh, let's see how we did. Okay, so let's get into our top five games. Let's do it. For the month of March. Yes, yeah, do it. Let's do it. So we're going to kick it off with Holy. Yes. Festival of Colors. Yes. And we chose Holy because it kind of coincides with the International Day of Happiness. Yes. Because this game is all about joy and celebration. Yes. Now it's from Floodgate Games mm -hmm. back in 2020, and it celebrates uh, that Indian culture, you know, the culture, cultural day where they, where throw, they throw colors, throw colors at each other. It's a celebration. You know, it's, it's holy. You yeah. know, that's the, the, the you know yeah. kind of like well, the they're festival. They're celebrating the end yeah, of winter. That festival. Yes. They're celebrating the end of winter. Yes. And the the uh, intro of spring, which is right on time. We're right yeah. going to spring. Now see, that festival scares me a little, because they throwing <laughs> colors dead at you. And I'm like, hold up, throwing all them colors at me. Because you, you, when you see the picture, the people are all messed up with colors on Yeah, but stuff. those are bright spring colors. It's yeah, fun. I don't know. I don't want to be joyful. all those colors all up <laughs> on me joyful. and stuff. And it's really a unique game. It is a unique We don't have anything game. else yes. like it in our collection. It's three levels, y'all. Yeah, y'all working on levels. three levels. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you're trying to create patterns of the three levels and you know mm -hmm. it kind of you know breaks down yes. where you're doing it and the colors float down sometimes. And you got it's some really area majority in this yes. game yes. And, and you've got cards that you're going to be doing different patterns yes. and you go up the different levels. Trying I don't even know how levels. to explain it to you. It's so it's much so fun. Unique. It's so unique. It's a unique game. M table presence for days and I really and think that And the art is, is just out of this world. Oh, it's Vincent Detray. Of course. <laughs> it's great yes, art. Of course. Great yes, art. Of course. And, and I mean, it's, it's yes. something that when you put it on the table, people are going to be interested and in be it. And be happy. And be happy. Yes. And it's also fun. Not only just table presence, yes. it's fun. And I think that the theme really works with this because you are putting colors out on the board. Yes. And it's kind of a way of throwing colors. I think they really did a really good job trying to tie it into that. Yeah, and they, bring, and they brought the culture in yeah, there. And the I really like that. Yes. Wonderful game. Yes. You're going to have fun. You're yes. going to have joy when you play it. So you can celebrate the International Day of Happiness by playing Holy. And but really, for the International Day of Happiness, it's any game, really. Yeah, that's true. It's all games all bring us happiness. All these joy. They, they give bring us, us joy. happiness. So just play a game, <laughs> y'all. Play a game and celebrate. Yes. Now, the next yes. one on our list is Poetry for Neanderthals. Yes. And this is from Exploding Kittens. Came out in 2020. And it's a, a party game <laughs> that's supposedly crazy. Now, we haven't played it. No. I do want to play it because I heard it's really, really silly, but a lot of fun. So I definitely want to play that. Now, this game, is it coincides with World Poetry Day. Yes. Now, Poetry for Neanderthals is a competitive word-guessing game mm -hmm. where you can only give clues by speaking one-syllable words. Now, that's wild. That is wild. <laughs> one-syllable words. Yes. So the goal of the game is to score the most points by correctly interpreting words and phrases. It's a party game. And inside the game, it's a big blow-up stick. <laughs> 
It's a big blow of stick, y'all, that you can hit somebody you can hit with. with the you stick. can hit people with a big old <laughs> yeah. stick. And it plays two to twelve players, so you can get a lot of people around the table. Yes. You know, playing this game. You get hit with the stick. That's not. I the, want the stick. That's not the objective to get okay, hit with I want stick. the stick. You don't you want know, to hit with the stick. It's a big blow of stick. I want that stick. <laughs> I've seen people with that stick. I want that. You stick. want to guess the game? You know the I don't words. Care. You know what? I want the stick. <laughs> But, but the, yes. the stick is part of it. Yes. So it's a party game, word game. So that's something you can try out yes. uh, with your family and friends. Get this for the stick. <laughs> Get it for the stick. <laughs> Not the stick. Okay, the next one on our list is Forest Shuffle. Yes. And uh, this is from Lookout Games from 2023. Mm -hmm. It's a two to four player game. And it's it goes, hot. That's the hot It's one. a hot game. Hot one. And it goes, uh, it, it coincides with the International Day of Forest. Yes. We have not played it yet. We don't have it, family. Yes, I'm have, sorry. We don't have it. But we've yes. seen a lot of people talk about and, and it. And love it, and yes. I think it's just adorable. I yes. can't wait to play you it. You get to layer cards on top, yes. you know, to try to get points and multi-use cards. I mean, I love that type of stuff. Well, I do. in this game, players compete to gather the most valuable trees. Yes. Yes. Then you attract species to these trees, thus creating an ecological balance habitat for flora yes. and fauna. Yeah, they got an uh, expansion coming out for that too soon. Yes. Yes. So you so, want yeah. a balanced Habitat yes. for flora and fauna. Yes. And that's what you need in the forest. That's what you need in the forest. You, you we want a that. beautiful forest. So, yes, yes, we do. So and, I like and that. And this game you know, has cards in it, so you got to have your hand management yes. component. There are in-game bonuses. And that layering thing. Yeah, you there's know, layering. layering and yeah, open on the drafting. Card. Yes. So, I mean, it's got all those wonderful things that we love yes. to do in games, and it's a beautiful production. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, so the next one on our list is Aqua. Oh, my Lord. From the Op. Yes. It's out this year. Yes. And the art is another Vincent Detroit art. It's phenomenal. And this yes. game coincides with the World Water Day. Aqua. Aqua. It's aqua. You're aqua. in the water. <laughs> You're trying to make a, you know, a diverse sea. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, uh, but this game is four, one to four players. Yes. And you have a hot spot, and in that hot spot, you start uh, building coral around that hot spot. Yes. And it's and the coral attracts small marine animals. And you put marine animals and on that. Yeah. The small it's all marine, tiles. Yeah. It's all tiles. It's a tiling game. Yeah, it's a tiling and then the game. small marine animals attract bigger marine animals. Yes. And so you're trying to you know, foster these biodiverse habitats yes. in the sea. It's really cool. And create these ideal conditions for animals and for sea life. And it's drafting, you it's know, it's drafting. open drafting. But what's so cool about it, I like how, you know, the designers in the back of the rule book made different variations yes. that you can use and you can modify the game with which they gave you ideas. Exactly. And I love that. That game could go on forever, yeah. you know. And we did you a know, different, You can play that a long time. We did so, a yeah. playthrough of Aqua. Yes, yes we and did. And it was so much fun. It was a lot of I fun. really enjoyed it. It's a wonderful game. Yes. Um, did you, you win can, that? Did you win that? I think I did. Did you win that? I'm not uh, sure, but regardless, uh, we did a playthrough. She won. I think she and, won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun. Yeah, with we had it. a lot of fun. And it's a yeah, great a way to it's celebrate. It's a really water. fun game. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. All right. And the last one on our list is Weather Machine uh -oh. from Eagle Griffin Games. Uh oh. Uh, came out in 2022. Uh oh. It's a Vidal Lacerda game. Y'all already know. Those who know <laughs> know that game is a head exploder. <laughs> Yes, it's one of his hard ones. He is known for his hard games. Yes, yes, it is. Now, this is a two to four player game. And, of course, it's going to celebrate World Meteorological Day. But this is kind of like an anti that because you, it's kind of teaching you if you mess with the weather, you might do some other bad things to other parts of the right, world but, but with the weather. But it's teaching you the value, yeah, the value of, of, weather. of taking care of the climate. Yeah, so and leave the weather, weather alone. Leave, yeah, don't mess don't with it. Don't make a weather machine. <laughs> leave the weather alone. <laughs> yeah. And so in this game, you're a scientist and you're tampering with local weather, See, adjusting rainfall Stop for it. farms, Stop it. maintaining wind and clear skies for ecological energy sources. You're just tweaking temperature. I mean, you're oh, doing a lot tweaking. of stuff mm -hmm. to the weather. Yeah. And so this machine also also, the weather machine also alters the conditions elsewhere on the planet, and it creates what they call a butterfly effect. And that's bad. Which is bad. That's bad. See that? Don't mess with the weather. So this is an interesting one. It said, "Don't don't make yes. a weather machine. <laughs> don't don't do yeah, that." Yeah, we don't want yeah. a weather machine. But this game does have you know a tile placement, worker placement. You know, Vital, yeah. you know, Vidal Lasorda. He puts everything in there and makes your head explode. You know. Yes. 
and you're gonna be working it. You're gonna be working it. But I'm excited to play this. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, we haven't played it yet, but yeah. I'm hoping to play it soon. Yes, and and explode our minds. <laughs> yes, we're gonna do that. We're so gonna do that. Those are our top five games yes. for the month of March. Now, family, let us know if if you have friends or family that have played any of these games that we've listed, and if so, tell us, you know, what's up, you know, in the comments below. Let us know. Let us know. Yeah. All right, everybody. I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are Our Fan Plays Games. Games. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next month. All right, <laughs>